Hey, this is Sasha. Thanks for joining me in today's episode. What I want to share with you in this episode is how many sponsors should you really have on your YouTube channel? Stay tuned. All right, so maybe you're a big YouTuber, maybe you got a ton of followings, probably a lot more than I do, uh, but you're wondering how many sponsorships do I have? Or as you get growing and you're continuing to grow all these followships uh, and fellowships and friendships and partnerships and deals, you wonder how many should I really have? Because eventually you get to a point where things can get a little saturated. So uh, as we look into these things and you look at, let's say your blog, and here's our backstage income business, by the way, you can look in and check out all the freebies that I have there. Um, you see on this right side, I don't really have any paid sponsorships. Why not? Because I'm promoting my other uh, courses, freebies, and tidbits. It's all my stuff. I don't deal with a ton of sponsorships uh, on most of my channels. It's just kind of like, hey, a couple that I really, really like and enjoy, and those are kind of the ones that I really work with. But for some people, what they do is, when you really look at it, they got this blog, and then uh, what they have is on this side, they got a ton of sponsorships, so it's all paid, and they're trying to make ad revenue. And then over here, as the content goes, and as you scroll, there's sponsorships here and here and here. So when you look at it from a blog business like that, it, there's a point where it becomes oversaturated. And as you look at your timeline on a per video basis as well, let's say you've got your your videos and your video is, let's say, 10 minutes long. Well, maybe you have a sponsor that comes on at, at uh, the one minute mark. Then you have another sponsor at two minute mark, another sponsor at three minute mark, four minute mark, five minute mark. Is that probably too much? Probably. That's probably too much because you're just pushing advertisements and there's no good value or content there. So it's just not a balanced way. So how do you fix this approach? So think of it as a seesaw effect. So users are willing to deal with some sponsorships and some level of advertisements, but there's a point where they're like, ah, I don't, I don't like it, see you later, I'm done. Um, so what they'll do is, is they'll just cut you off. So you need to make sure you have great content rather than too many ads because if you have too many ads that are just stacking stacking the seesaw is going to go down instead you want to make sure that you're balanced where you have way more great content okay and value to offset kind of the ads that you're promoting so i would say um maybe a good 70 30 uh mix is good uh, 80 20 if you kind of want to push more great content if you're kind of at the beginning stages and you're trying to make a couple of extra bucks you know because you got a job and you're just like hey I just need to make a little, some extra money you could do a 50 50 approach but remember you're then pushing more of the ads and what happens is when you push the ads what does that mean they leave your channel and then they go to another website or channel. Instead, you'd prefer that they stay and watch your video, right? I mean, that's the end objective. Um, so when you go ahead and build that relationship and build that value, uh, they wanna see your content, they wanna see more of your items, and they're okay with dealing with a few sponsorships, promotions, and advertisements. Just kind of like, okay, well, I'll deal with it. It's kind of like a sticking pain point. So it's like, oh, a little bit of pain, a little bit of pain, a little bit of pain. A uh, tiny bit of uh, pain is okay, but if you've got this big spike in pain, that's a huge issue and problem. So anyways, that's kind of the big um, thought process when it comes to YouTube sponsorships and how many should you have. And if you're uh, pushing all kinds of different products here and there and here and there, and you can do this and you can do that, you make money from this and make money from that, blah, 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 blah. it's just all over the place. So instead, boil things down, focus on, hey, these are the guys I work with. These are the guys that I'm building a relationship with. These are the sponsorships that I really care about. And if the, that's the case, then that's where you put them in your resources page and uh, you know on your blog and so forth. So as you can see right here, these are some of the divisions we have with the website, with the team. We've got a sponsorship with Pork Bun. You can check that out. Uh, you know, and some of these other ones right here that I just feel are great value and great companies. But beyond that, um, you know, you don't want to bombard people with sponsorships day in and day out. It will be intensely um, uh, draining for them. So take a step back. Don't totally push sponsorships all the time. Build up your, your value. Build up your clientele. Build up your audience. And then periodically, as needed and as you feel it's necessary, uh, maybe where it makes sense, then you can go ahead and mention and talk about your sponsor. So anyways, that's what I want to share with you in this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to grab some of the freebies that I have by clicking the link right here. You can also subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next one.